I could be on that side. Oh, it's all even. Oh, let him speed. Let it be like, uh, I will go to Cali with you because I have nowhere else to go. We out here though. <laughs> Twenty four seventeen. Getting warmer. Oh, I hope not. I'm sweating already. Oh, we got the Cali zombies out here. Where's the gun I spent so much time upgrading up? Huh? What the hell is this pistol? Bring my gears back. The clickies are here. Get some clickies here. Guard up. Let's go back to finding that house. 24 25. Not a boy. <laughs> if the fireflies are still out there. Yeah. What do you think they're up to? I don't know. The goal was always to restore society. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to go about it. Bro died. Seems like a strange place to find a resistance group. We had all sorts of outposts, big and small. Best way to hide from the army. Fedra. Fedra be on our backs. What if we don't find them here? Assuming all the leads dry up, what would you like to do? I don't know. Leave this place? Let's play graffiti. Does that mean fireflies? No, it means rattlers. No. Nothing I recognize, at least. Down here, love. Okay. Stand outside. Yo, we in Cali. This looks abandoned. Like all the other houses. Keep searching. Hmm. 
425 Constance. This is the place. Okay, but there's nothing here. We don't know that yet. Painted the indoors. They do look like a fish. More a tree looks like life. Maybe there's another way in. Are you being positive? I'm trying to be helpful. You're always helpful. Go to Abby being nice to Lev. Lev's gonna die. Pull up the Cali for nothing. Lev, I think we're done here. No, wait. You find something? Scratches. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to agree with you. Pretty nice barracks, all things considered. It was a nice place to chill. Frequency currently in use. This is. Do you see a call sign anywhere? Oh, a what? It's a short list of numbers and letters. Hmm. Okay. This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? Standing by. Is anyone out there? What's this? Are frequencies. Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Is anyone out there? Are these other Firefly outposts? I don't know. Can you stop asking dumb Can questions? Can you hear me? Hello?
Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Hello. Hello. Is this frequency currently in use? Hello, this is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? If anyone can hear me, please reply. Please answer. Hi, Abby. We got a clear signal on you. Where in Santa Barbara are you calling from? Um. 24, 25 constants. Uh, we got a tip about a base, but there's no one here. We're looking for fireflies. I'm a, I'm a firefly. Where were you stationed? I was part of the Salt Lake outpost. You don't like fireflies. Who ran that facility? Dr. Jerry Anderson. He was my dad. We pulled everyone back from the satellite stations and brought them back here to home base. How many of you are there? Four about. Two hundred strong now, with a few more every month. Oh, that's right. You're about to get two more. How do we find you? Get to Catalina Island. Approach the large domed building in Avalon. We'll find you. Okay. Okay, we'll see you soon. Over and out. Looking forward to it. Good luck, Abby from Santa Barbara. Over and out. Come on, let's get back to the sailboat. This is a little too positive. Uh uh, now something okay. sussy. Fine. If, if everything was fine. Uh, what was that? Why do you make me repeat whenever I'm wrong? Because it makes me feel better. If everything was fine, we would have just teleported so to the dome building in Avalon. But nope. Hey, this way. No, I don't want to take the front door, bro. Oh. Can we go out through a window or something? I forgot how we got in. Oh, yeah. yeah. What did I say? I literally said, let's take the back door. I literally said that. Oh, my God. You're about to slap him. Oh. Ready? Wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait. Fuck, ah, man! You're fine. Get that one away. Lev still didn't want to shoot people in the head. Brain damage is gonna go crazy. Don't you fucking touch him! I said take the back door. I don't want to listen. Back to Ellie? Yeah, that's gotta be it. 
how. She just found their boat. Like right behind them. What the hell? That don't make sense. This looks promising. Here we go. Okay. Mesa Bluff. I'm here, and Santa Barbara proper is that way. I'm coming for you, Abby. I don't know how she found me. squealing mm, that worked nice Thank <laughs> you. 
even know where I am. so close. more. Actually, I'm gonna go back in that house. What if there's some supplements in there or something? I'm gonna go back in. A street around here. You better find stuff in here. So work a bench. Like, are you watching the last of the show?
Ah, okay, good. I watched the episode two this morning. Bro, that that test part was was cringe as hell. I did not like it. I know I know a lot of people were defending it and liking it. I did not like it. That was weird. You know what I'm talking about. That was weird as hell. Oh, you didn't finish it? Oh. I like Joel. And the Ellie, the Ellie actor is good, but she just doesn't look like Ellie. Ah, well, you already know what happens. Well, you'll, you'll see. Yeah, you don't care about spoilers because you watched the show, right? I mean, cause you, yeah, yeah, because you already know. Because you already know the first game, right? Now nah, I'll just let you see it instead. Nothing crazy. It was just like one scene was like just nasty. It wasn't in the game, and it was just nasty. I was like, okay. Yeah, you'll see then. It's nothing crazy. I just thought it was nasty. And it's different. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you when you see it. What the hell? Explosive arrows, right? Oh yeah, that was nasty too, bro. Yeah, that's that's the route they're going with the show. Is like, cause I heard the show they don't want to. They're not doing. There's not. They're not putting spores in the show because they don't feel like it would work for a show atmosphere. And the spores only work for the games, they say. So there won't be any spores. So they replaced it with those tendrils in their mouth. Which is disgusting. It looks so disgusting. I don't have a problem with it. If it's the horror, I guess it's nasty. Which is, you know, it's supposed to be nasty. God, it makes me so uncomfortable, though. Can it be moving? Like, ew. Yeah, I like the Joel actor, Pedro. I like him. Oh. What the hell? I'm not missing these. Yo, can I pick those back up? Episode 2 was slow, though, until the very end. Damn, I just wasted all... Oh, I got one back. For this, oh, this is bad. 
Come on, I had to get stabbed by a tree. Really? Really? So we're both caught? Really? Come on. Abby. She's the loser. These are the Got same away. guys. This bitch is fucked up. Damn. We'd be lucky if she lasts a month. Can we please just say we're done for the day? Yeah. yeah get that thing down. Let's reset the trip. So these guys must be the rattlers. I mean, is she even worth the trip back? And the guys on the note. We're talking about uh. I'm good. The guys on the note. We're talking about slaves. So these guys must enslave people or something. Looks like you shit your pants. Fuck you, say. You little bitch. You like funny, huh? Get up. Come on. We don't need this. No, she's fucked up anyway, man. Come on. Please. It's funny, man. It's funny. Seriously. Good job, Ellie. That was a good play. Good play. Oh, I, it better be a couple months ago. I thought, I thought it was like the same day. Blonde, arms like mine. She had a scrawny kid with cuts by his mouth. Yeah, that's her. Fuck you, remember her name? I'll tell you what she is. She's nearby. I don't need to know anything else. I'm not worried about the infection, bro. Talk. She's in a holding cell in our camp. Where is that? Head that way till you hit the railroad track. That'll lead you to a resort. We keep them in a tall, round building. That doesn't make sense, though, because if you take them to a railroad, there's two directions. You didn't tell me which direction on the railroad to go, but whatever. I swear. Stupid. We don't care about bites out here. Ellie needs to eat, bro. Come, look at those arms. She needs to eat. Yeah, L direction. Okay, so what if I hit the railroad? Nah, oh, bro. Ellie should have been beefing up. Not even for that, like, Abby's sake, but... Uh, no, for survival. Being skinny like this is not going to be fights. Tall round building. Oh, come on. We just had to get nerfed with the tree. Really? Wow, that actually is not a bad cut. That's not as bad as I thought. So the tree branch looked a lot bigger. I don't go back. Yeah, they got slaves or something. Kill so right. That punch was memed. Was it the punch at the... Oh, no. I I knew about that punch. Even I knew about that punch already. But that was, they were stupid. I was like, bro, the Abby got those directions and... I would not have went out the front door. I was ready to go out the back door. Oh, I stole his weapon. I want to use this explosive bow. I want to use it on a human. Because I'm not mentally sane. Okay, buddy. You're going to be the first person. Any, anybody looking? No, don't look this way, bro. 
The dogs out. Wait, can I restart real quick? They dragging it. I heard something. I got it. Are you serious? I just want to see what happens when you blow them up. Don't come this way, I'm gonna grab you. Mateo, we good or what? Got nothing. Great, now we got rattlers. Damn! Damn, that is an explosion. I didn't think it would be like that. That's like a flying mine. How'd they even know what direction it came from? He just exploded. I'm a Genji main. Oh, shit. I'm still a Genji main. Yeah, I was going up to the go too. Oh. Oh, I. I'm Ellie, I'm gonna hit all my shots. Well, that was his leg. That's tough, buddy. Better find her before these idiots kill her. She wants to kill Abby before they do it. Damn, those are arrows are no joke. Nah, I'm gonna save my tape to make more of those. That's broken. They really had to nerf Abby for their last fight. I mean, they they nerfed uh, they nerfed Ellie. She got a whole side wound now. Yeah, she didn't stop worrying about her hair and worry about eating food. You cannot be this skinny in the apocalypse, bro. She stepped on a branch, she stepped on a trap and got impaled in her side. She shouldn't even be able to run right now, but I can because it's a game. I'm sure Abby gonna get nerfed too. That was a, the cut didn't look that bad, but the branch looked, the branch looked bad. That looked like a bad thing to get stabbed by. I know that cut was deep. Did you watch the new episode, Brandon? Brandon, I have the gun. It's right there. You really forced the guy.
I saw it. They they meme they memed they meme Tessa's death. It's not it's not terrible. I was just it's just nasty. They just made it nasty. They didn't do her dirt. Well, actually, I would say that being done dirty. Compared to how she goes out in the game, it was kind of dirty. And by dirty, I mean literally it's dirty. Like, literally it's dirty. They did her dirty, and it was dirty. I mean, that's not, that's not what doing her dirty is. Her exploding isn't the problem. Going out in a blaze of glory is never a bad thing. Where's my silencer? Was that was that with Abby? I thought I had some. Okay. I'm just gonna grab you and use you as hostage so I can shoot your friends. Yeah, okay, where are your buddies at? You wearing helmets? You let go of them. Terrible hostage. Got another angle. I got it. Are they wearing metal helmets? Oh, God. We're gonna fuck you up. Oh, God. taken in months ago. Yeah, it was built like a chopstick. Wait. I'm full? How am I full? Like, what gun is that? How is that full? Are you... I used to be able to carry like 19, 18. Oh, was that Abby? See, I'm mixing it up now. I'm mixing up their bullets. Abby also had incendiary rounds. I don't have that anymore. Wait, no, no, this one's upgraded. are wearing bulletproof helmets. Okay. Tracks to the resort. Well, 
Left behind is the most unnecessary DLC. Like if, if I was playing when Last of Us came out, and I knew it was that short, I would have just been like, I would have watched it on YouTube. I definitely would not pay for that. I don't know, no way it was more than fifteen dollars. I would have just watched it on YouTube. I do not care about Riley that much, bro. Great. And we're gonna get a whole, a whole left behind is in a whole episode. Oh, oh, it was ten dollars. It's not that bad, then I guess. infiltrate a, a plantation so we can kill Abby and then leave. We are doing an assassination of a slave. Hey, Riley, this is Mackenzie. I'm out. Free. My husband died picking your fucking tomatoes. Are they trying to do a war? It didn't seem like you were successful. Oh, wait, or did she beat up some guy and left a message? That's a rattler wearing that. Okay. I swear if their war breaks out today. The night me and Abby are fighting, their, their war is going to happen with the rattlers, bro. What is going on? I better not see any black rattlers. I know there ain't no black rattlers out here, Blake. Come on, you can do it. Just a little closer. Is that literally one right there? He can't feel anything. Fuck that. I promised him I'd do this to him. Don't you wish you didn't try to escape now? Don't you? Oh, you lucky you survived. Oh god, the whole country's pulling up. Close of arrows are great. Damn, did I hit him through the helmet? Keep her down! From above, you bot. That helmet ain't for <laughs> We good? Good job, Ellie. These are so sick of foxes. What the hell is the helmet for?
We know automatic weapons in zombie games are gonna be useless. It's gonna take me what twenty bullets a clip? I think like ten. Brandon, I'm not making it five minutes. I would I wouldn't get a chance to decide. But for your hypothetical, I mean like I'd be a group. I would, there's no way, after a couple days on my own, I would literally just die of starvation. I would refuse to leave, I'd just let myself die or something. I would not do it. I'm not doing this. I'm barely mentally stable enough for the real world. I'm saying purposely. I'm not moving. I'm not leaving anywhere. I'm not leaving. I'm not going outside. I'd be too scared. Go watch me play Outlast. I was terrified. I'm not doing that in real life. I honestly would kill myself. Like you say that, would you would you physically be capable of doing that? Or and mentally? Cause I I can't. I can't. I don't think I'd have it in me to kill a zombie. I would I would actually be one of those guys who would freeze up. I can't do it. That is so scary. I'm just gonna sit in a closet and die. I'm literally one of the people who really picks up their notes, bruh. Oh yeah, fight or flight. I'm not a fighter. Well, yeah, in that scenario, like, if I'm, like, in my room, but, like, if I'm in my room safe and I'm running out of food, it's like, okay, time to go for a food run. Hell no. If one comes in my room right now, then, yeah, I'll fight it, but I'm just gonna be, like, crying and throwing a fit. I'm not making it past the week. Kenny's the goat.
this. No, there's nothing over here. Mother. No, there's a thing over there. Is that the moon? Might have something. I'll see what it was. I'll keep an eye. Yeah, go check it out. I'll clear over here. Can I let the zombie through? Can I untrain it? alive? Did he get him? Damn, that zombie was whack. What's the story? Nothing over here. These guys walking over here. Oh, these clickers are gonna do work. Watch. I gotta get rid of this guy. Oh, has no vision. Can you move? Why is he just standing there like an actual NPC? Move! Okay, you're giving me no choice. Okay, that's it. I'm sick of you. Actual bot. Clicker? You don't hear me. You don't hear me. I'm letting you free from all the way over there. Be free. Come on, get him. My friends, <laughs> the beat. <laughs> They're not putting in that much work. What? You saw the timing on that? Did you see? 
see the timing on that? That was amazing. What the? There's nothing over here. What the? I'm on it. I got you covered. I don't like those ops at the top. What is he looking at? I got something. Why are so many of them up there? Where did he come from? Oh shit. Well, here we go. Sorry, this is gonna to a close. I was hoping they'd go set off those bombs because it'd be funny. I was just playing that noise. Who was looking at me? I love picking up stuff. They even had explosive. Oh, well, they have an extra explosive arrow for me. Let's use it real quick. Who was looking at me? Why does it play that noise? See ya. Ellie, when she blows someone up. See ya. You guys go set off the mines I left. You're not going to, are you? No, you're not. Okay, fine. I'll pick them back up. How disappointing.
these lazy bums just want to stay upstairs. that last guy. Permadeath? Why the hell would I do that? I don't even think you can. You're gonna do that at the beginning. Okay, why did why did these guys randomly spawn? These guys are non-existent. How did you see me? Oh, oh, they all pulled up. Oh, okay. Maybe I can use the mines now. Come on, step on it. Step on it. Cinematic. Damn, look at your friend. Shut up, Blake. <laughs> Shut up. Don't use that on me. Are we done here? It took a little too long. Did a little bit too much goofing. Back to business. That is nothing compared to JoJo, I bet. That's nothing. Yeah, I didn't see the latest episode though. I saw one and two. I'm 
Bombs go off everywhere. I feel like Batman. Uh, you didn't start it yet? Talk about those mine kills, though. Ellie always is blicked up. I stay blowing them up. would not spare Abby if I had the chance. And I like her. Try to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. Why is she at the farthest? Of course, she's not here. She's probably already dead. Abby got bit. Come on. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, by the way. If it was just me and that guard, Abby would have lost. Uh, Ellie would have lost. But she doesn't eat food. Not right now. I'm hurt. Man, they built that like the stupid Firefly House food.
There's like six prison. It was like six of them. Why are the prisoners locked up with the locker room with the weapons were? I just thought of that. Why are there weapons right across from the prisoners? Oh god. There's the war, I guess. I don't believe Abby's bit. That's dumb. Holy. Oh no, actually, yo, if they chained her up. Abby? Oh hell no. Nah. The day killer. What did they do to you? Nah, you know who I am, boy? Yeah, you know who I am. You know me. I'd be just like, oh my. Bro, imagine being in Abby's position, you open your eyes and you see Ellie. Like, bruh. I won't even care. Like, I know she has no emotional ability to even care right now, bro. I won't even care. I mean, just kill me, bro. I don't care. I want a Joel, not you. I don't care. Damn, Abby, they nerfed you. You couldn't eat. Love is gonna die. Damn, bro. It's a rough three months. Right after they found the Firefly place, too. That's a shame. That's a shame. They're both this way. No, what do you think? I didn't come here to help you. Oh my god, those muscles are gone. Ellie is just confused. Ellie is just thinking. I know she in her bag. She don't know what she want to do. She don't know what she want to do. Is she really bit? Oh great, there's a boat for us. Uh, no she does not. <laughs> no, don't play. Don't play, Brandon. Ellie's arm, uh, Allie, Abby's arm is still bigger than hers. Like you came here to free her. Don't switch up now. Damn. Why that? Why was that frame mad HD? <laughs> Can't let you leave. Oh, she's gonna challenge her like Thorfinn. I'm not doing this. No. 
I'm not gonna fight you. Yes, you will. Damn, Ellie doesn't even want to kill her unless she fights him back. That's how you know she doesn't even want to do it. You made him a part of this. Why do you want her to fight back? You, you're hesitating. You don't want to do it either. You're just forcing yourself to. Okay. She's not doing this for fairness. She just doesn't want to. She doesn't. Even, she doesn't even want to kill Ab. <laughs> I didn't even get to use that explosive arrow as much as I wanted to. I didn't have the riddle. Well, this is Naruto versus Sasuke. Yeah. Second time. Wait, can I switch to Abby? Oh my god. Come on, Ellie. Why are you doing this? There's a switch character option. You know, I can just stop. Look, I'm done. No, I'm done. I don't want to do this, bro. Put the knife down. Speed it. I could have broke her arm right there with that. Put that knife down. Yeah, look at you, now you're losing! This is pointless. Now, would we be saying this if Abby was living like a perfect life without being enslaved? I don't know. I'm only saying this because she's already been a slave. Take 
Sorry, Tommy. You can just go tell Tommy you did it. That was just one finger. There's no way she would have made it all the way back to Wyoming, but it's whatever. And there's also no way she would have found Abby in Santa Barbara in her boat, but again, that's whatever, I guess. But yeah. She lost two fingers, but I guess she got some closure, I guess. Can she play? Uh, very convenient you can still play, you're lucky. can't oh hell no I better not see credits. That's how it ended? Oh, thank you. I was about to say. Last week. Oh. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but I'm bad. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols.
Dina. She's your girlfriend? No. No, she... That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did But you do like her. what that girl's intentions are, but, but I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm hungry. Stomach growling. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you, but took, you that took that from me. From me. <laughs> uh, I guess hell, you would have still went with the surgery. I guess that's what it sounds like. Oh, too bad. If somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment, <clears throat> I would do it all over again. Yep. Good job, Joel. Yeah. I just... I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. That's fine. You, she'd understand one day. I want your forgiveness. I would like to try. She is such his soft spot. It's insane. Is this their last conversation? Probably. Yeah, it probably was. See you around and yep. Abby's having a happy ending. Can we can can Ellie at least feel something? Or was her punishment that journey? Isn't that the loading screen? I mean the start screen? To the first game. Without the guitar. fast. Oh, 
that's the only way she's gonna cope. I mean, like, like, they don't really have a choice. Um, I guess time to see why people hate this game. I feel bad. I feel sad. Time to see the heat. Joel is not a main character. How am I supposed to find anything? Great, and then everything's just going to be about the show. Damn it, they're all talking about the scene. It's not that deep, bro. This game over run easily. Damn, everything is about the show. a brigading of the subreddits bro there was a war there was a war i missed it all look at all these mod posts talking about it damn it there was a war no i missed it all i, I can't find the post Look at this! So this is the Titan Folk sub. 
Of all arguments in favor of this game, you don't get it is one of the few that caused me rage. You don't get it here is the equivalent of you didn't understand the story in the AOT. Yo, this is insane. If you, if one of, oh, I'm gonna be here a while. Hold up, I, I love this. I don't like it. You just see, oh, one of them, one of them is a game with a brutal story. The other is Last of Us. Amazing game versus dumpster fire. Oh my god! Dumpster fire? I need to find a new game after how dissatisfied I was. Oh my god. No way. They said Last of Us 2 was too expensive at, ten at $20. I Check out the comments. So I missed all your comments. What did IGN give them? They made that up to slander him? Made what up? This guy had to literally say that he's not a Last of Us Part 2 defender. This is crazy. My criticism. So this is a guy trying to fight back. It's fun to have a bad guy, especially when that bad guy likes like a douche on Twitter. Oh, so Druckmann, oh, he's a Twitter warrior? What was he saying back then? Was he fighting back on Twitter? That's kind of cringe. That's, gonna, that's not going to look good. I got a little fast and tired of it. Um, let me disagree with Joel's actions. I personally disagree with... Uh, look, I love Joel's character. But every time I generally bring up the fact that his actions may be morally dualist, I'm painted as a two last of us two stand. The point was that the first endings that the first game's ending was morally ambiguous. I don't feel like it was. I don't feel like it was that deep. I feel like if, if that was any of our children, we would not have done that. I don't think it's that's like I don't think it was that conflicting. Even the the game story didn't make it that conflicting. Jerry himself wouldn't answer the question. Marlene was 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 sussy about it. 
only one who was upset was 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 Ellie, and that was dumb. A dumb reason to be upset. I don't think it was that 50-50 at all. Look, I love Joel's character, but every time I generally bring up the fact that uh, not every change to the remake is really bad. So the Last of Us Two sub hates the game. But the Last of Us One sub likes the second. Um, IGN gave him a ten. Oh. I'm yeah. just a poor okay. Okay. So you bought with us. Was that Ellie? Traveling through. Was that Ellie? This world of woe. I actually can't tell. I was gonna skip no it. Okay, it's Ellie's not let her sing. No toil, no danger. In that was a saint. I think he made one tweet asking if people play the game before they judge it. I need to find that tweet. I agree that Druckmann isn't at fault for personally creating all the issues in Blast of Us 2, but he ultimately approved of and is responsible for all of them being in the game. What are all of these criticisms and issues? What? All of them? What is your... What were... I, I need to find these. What is the original... Damn it! I need to find the reviewers. I need to find the reviews. Well, let me get off my phone. We're going, we're going full investigation mode. This is gonna take. This is gonna be a long time. This is so interesting. What are all these issues? My only issue was like the story stuff, as in like them teleporting around states and finding singular humans. But it's not that big a deal. Where God's redeemed Their vigils keep I'm going there To see my father I'm going there No more to roam I'm just a I see this guy defending it, he's gonna complain. Wow, he said nice try, Neil. Wow. Okay, so he's, he, this guy is bringing up the fact that people hate it because they added a gay relationship and a trans character. And suddenly people are calling it social justice warrior propaganda. I'm not gonna cap. I'll soon be free. <gasps> Yo, Joel popped in! From early trial. No, not Joel. Spotty red. Bro, this game's goaded just for that. Churchyard. Joy Baker hopped on the beat, bro. Are you threatened now. by gay people? I hate to break it to you, but gay people exist. And go see Ellie was gay and last of us left behind. So why are you guys surprised? People saying that love being trans I'm is unrealistic because how could anyone be trans in this world? To see my Nice try, Neil. That's crazy. I bet they just reply that to all of them. Anyone defend the game? No. People say that because the last game was subtle, at least with was subtle, at least with progressive shit. This one is straight up in your face about it. How was this game straight up in your face about it? Wow, these guys are actually cultists. This guy said, this reminds me of my friend who broke the disc after he finished the game. I told him, why don't you sell it to people or GameStop? He said, if some innocent person were to play this, I wouldn't... I don't want an innocent person to play this. 
Your friend is the goat. Are you serious? Are you serious? What? So they admit Abby looks like a dude. Oh, so if you don't like The Last of Us 2, you're automatically homophobic all of a sudden. Can they explain how my two gay friends are homophobic for hating the game? Gay? I didn't even know Bill was gay. What, Frank? Is that the name? Uh, none of the actual views have the same criticism people thought playing as a strong woman who killed the previous protagonist was a political statement. I might have to re listen to the song later. I wasn't, I couldn't fully pay attention. Also, they're like 30 years in the apocalypse, like this in the world. But they hate every muscles. Hold on, I'm deep into this thread. I didn't even know Bill was gay. How did they? How did they know he was gay? Because of Frank? Oh, he called him his partner. I just thought that meant like actual like his his like Fortnite duo. I thought I, when he said partner, I thought he meant Fortnite duo. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know it meant like that. Oh, I mean, like, okay. Nobody gets riled up about the gay relationship. We already knew Ellie was gay. They get riled up because they because they put things like that in front of, in the front and center. Then take then the story takes a back seat. Time and time again, we have seen the same things happen in movies, TV shows, and games. And you can tell the same thing happened in this one. The characters are illogical and do, this, do things that don't make any sense. Ellie isn't even the same way she was before. The whole bigot sandwich thing is hilarious too, but showing they are survivors of an apocalypse and she's worried and upset at two gay women. Oh! They're talking about the, um... Seth! They're talking about Seth being upset of watching, um, that's like saying someone being racist in the apocalypse is, is throwing it in your face. It's the same thing. I don't, I don't think that's that far-fetched. The whole bigot sandwich. Oh, that's why, I'm like, why do they keep saying bigot sandwich? That was during the, um, that's... That's when they, he gave her the apology sandwich, and she gave it to Jesse, talking about enjoy your bigot sandwich or something like that. That was throwing it in our face. All to push a political agenda of gay people being targeted. I could even take it a step further and say that he stereotyped the guy and made him a white guy and not a minority that's pushing gay hate. All to push the white man bad narrative. Politics and gaming has never worked. He then makes a stereotypical cliche untouchable woman character villain slash hero. Who? Abby? Then says she can't be criticized because she's a woman and we're hating on her because she has muscles. If you haven't caught on yet what's going on then you've already made up your mind. This is actually mental illness. This is actually mental illness. There's, there's actually mental illness, bro. This is actually mental illness. This was the, this thing is upvoted, by the way. There's no way. There's no way this is what they got from the story. There's no way they played the game and that is what they got from the story. There is no way. There is no way that's all you, you, you took. He's stuck on the the, the, the first cutscene, the, the second cutscene in the game with Seth. And he's like, of course he made it a white guy. Are you serious? The message would be the same no matter what color the guy was. He was homophobic. It has nothing to do with his skin color. 
So they're trying to say Druckmann's pushing an agenda or something. This is insane. This is insane. I, I think that scene was totally realistic. I totally saw I saw I saw it coming. It made perfect sense to me. I don't I don't understand. He didn't even go that crazy with it. And he if anything, all he said was Dyke. He didn't even am I allowed to say that? He didn't even say anything like super crazy. And he dropped it super quick. It wasn't pushed or anything. I I, I this is insane. Name the gay thing front and center. Never once did Ellie being gay overshadow the story. Oh, this guy's defending it. The only time it was ever interwoven into a story was at the very end when she came out to Joel. Other than that, her relationship with Dana was treated just like it would have been if Ellie was with a guy. Ellie isn't even the same as she was before, and that has to do with her being gay. I thought that was because she was hell-bent on revenge after Joel's death, but I guess we have two different interpretations of the game. What have you? What are you even going on about in your second paragraph? I am going to be reading, I'm going to be reading into this for days. I think I'm going to be back in Buffalo and I'm still going to be like catching up on this. This is actually crazy. I'm going to watch hate videos. Can I stream YouTube videos? I can stream them from my computer. I am going to, that's probably what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to record on my computer and I even have the, the webcam on there. This is so interesting. This is so dumb. Probably get copyright strikes for watching YouTube? Doesn't Charlie do it all the time? They say the whole story is just revenge is bad and shallow, and I think it's really about grief and how we see people in our lives as good and bad biasly. I can't get copyright striked for watching a video. A YouTube video? Isn't that what reaction channels are? Don't they watch people's YouTube videos? Not, um, when were Ellie and Dina targeted, be when were Ellie and Dina targeted because they were in a gay relationship? It's almost like they were targeted, but just so happened to be a lesbian bisexual woman. If the fact that they're both naturally was so painfully glaring to you, that just says one more thing about you. Not true at all, because at the end of the story of part one, it was hinted, but she got her own DLC. So stop the pettiness and switching things around to make it look like it wasn't. She had her own game. She only made it out made out with the black girl. I think it's hilarious you can't even see the political tropes on there. White guy gets mad because her and Dita made out. That's really the most important thing in the middle of the apocalypse. You really think people are going to get angry over that? After surviving flesh-eating mutant spore zombies? You clowns are the same. You could be told everything in detail, and you're too boneheaded to understand that. People have literally written paragraphs of explanations, and it goes right over your head because you, because you guys are so brain dead, brainwashed. Wow. We survived 40,000 wars as we view a mad coffee. Dude, that's stupid. That's such a dumb argument. People have been through a lot, so they're not going to care about gay people. Are you stupid? Bro, look at half the racist and homophobic people in the world are like old white veteran guys from like World War II. You think... Do you think their opinion on gay people, you think they'd be valid, okay with that? Like, current gay people now, if they're, if you get their great-great-grandfather who served that D-Day, you think he'd be hyped that his, his, he died for his gay great-great-grandson? He'd probably be tight. Just, and he's fought in a war. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't get what that means. Just because they've been through a lot means they wouldn't care. That there's no homophobic people. A zombie apocalypse clear uh, solves racism and homophobia. They said, look, they made Riley black. This is insane.
Whoa, we found it. I found a gigantic mega thread. They even composed a mega thread of hate. Thank God. I did not enjoy this at all. A number of members joining after finishing the game and liking it have been asked why Part 2 is receiving so much hate. In other words, criticism, dislike, disappointment. In the event you're interested in the criticism, here's a list of videos, articles, and reviews, and Reddit posts and discussions that are helpful in understanding the diverse reasons why people are not favoring the game and slash or Naughty Dog. Perfect. I found they compiled a whole list. Look how long this is. They hate the game so much, they, they really compiled this all. This is insane. Reviews and critics. We have videos. There is 27 videos listed, Brandon. Published articles, 10. Reddit posts, 15 listed. Character cr critiques, Reddit and Tumblr post, 20. Other criticism, another 20. About Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog there's 11 videos. Wow. I have a lot of work to do. Let's save this post. I have a lot of work to do. You people couldn't write their way around a sandwich. They could have used the Rockstar's dev cycle where they created new stuff and used those APs. Imagine the things that could have been triggered just by the Millers telling Abby some fake names in both factions, playing dumb for a while. Imagine. I hate to be the stick in the mud, but the stands are never going to click on this list. Throwing concrete evidence into it. Bro, best and believe I'm going to try and talk to one of these people. The story sucks. That's an understatement. Oh my god, what an absolute nonsense this game was for the last 12 hours. If anyone came here like many others after you got to the Abbey part of the story, discovered it was 12 hours long, spare yourself some time, watch the tether scene and the ending on YouTube. Don't start it back up. Everyone moved on. This post is a year old where they compiled everything. And I see some comments on here from a hundred days ago. I want to see. I want to watch some of these videos. Like, I finally found a, comp a compilation of everything. I want to watch some hate videos, and I want to see if they're making sense. I mean, I doubt I'm going to have my mind changed, but maybe someone has to be making sense. I mean, from what I learned with the AOT, with the AOT sub is... There are problems, though. Like, if I watch the AOT criticism thing of the ending, yeah, I'm going to agree with some of the stuff. Oh, you sent a video? Okay. I painfully sped around through the Abbey part. See, I, I knew what they were talking about. I mean, I think, like, what problems do I have with that with this ending? I don't really have one. I think, what is the, is it perfect? Uh, apart from Ellie finding Abby twice, and the second time being more fake than the first, it doesn't ruin anything. It's just, like, goofy. But... Uh, eh, I, I think it's fine. And I don't... I don't want to believe that she didn't just kill her just because Lev was there. She didn't even look at Lev. I don't want, it, I don't want that to be the reason. Because that's kind of lame. That's too tropish. I want it to be more of the grief and pain stuff that you were talking about. Not because it had to do with Lev. That's lame. Not because she's scared of someone else hunting down her. I want her to not kill Abby mainly because, simply because it is it was no reason to. She didn't have to anymore, and she knew that wasn't that's not gonna like stop her PTSD issues. He 
you want the story to be 2D MCU brain. If if I watch one of these videos and it's literally just them talking about her being gay, then I'm gonna be actually upset. Wait, how long is this video you sent me? Video game donkey and uh, I know this guy is popular. Let's see what the popular guy's take is on it. No spoilers for Final Seventy Final Fantasy Seven remake. I was gonna play that. It's 18 minutes. Okay, I'm going to pause real quick. Damn, I'm really going to go into this, huh? Reviewers made a video. <laughs> Yo, that's the type of people. People who call stuff... Uh, it's like SJ, SJW baiting and stuff has got to be the type of people that dox you. Is 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 this a hate video or is he defending it? This guy's pretty big. I'd be surprised if he's defending it. He said the story gets so bad. The story wasn't even difficult. Complex. How was it? Ugh. This isn't insane. Oh, the A, hey, please like Abby part. Okay. I can see what they're saying with that. Because it was very clear they wanted you to like Abby. And I did fall for it. Charlie hated the game? No way. Now that's something I gotta look up. Wait. No way. What is his problems with it? Bro, hold on. Charlie is the, like, staple white person. Charlie, Last of Us 2. Oh, damn, they have the whole stream of him playing the game. Wait, what did he moist meter it? It says I watched it already. I always just skip to the end. Yeah, wait, that is something I actually want to hear. Today we're taking a look at the Last of Us 2. Say it, what do you have to say? This is one of my favorite stories in all of gaming, and I did not want to see a sequel. The first game wrapped itself up absolutely beautifully with an extremely powerful narrative, and I did not think Naughty Dog could do anything even close to that level again in the same universe, and they didn't. And somehow this was even more disappointing than I was expecting. So let me just say right now, my disappointment with this game doesn't come from the fact that Joel's not the lead. I have no problem with Ellie being the lead. I have no problem with Ellie being in love with another girl in the game. I need to say that because the internet has already come with, come to this conclusion where if you don't like The Last of Us 2, it's only because you hate women or you're a homophobe or you can't stand the fact that men aren't the leads in the game. None of that has anything to do with my disappointment in this game. I wouldn't give a shit if every single character in this game was a woman and you don't even see a man. I wouldn't give a fuck if every single character in this game was an anthropomorphic furry smurf. As long as it told an incredible narrative up to the same level of quality you would expect from The Last of Us universe, to the same level The Last of Us was able to deliver, at least something on par with that. That's not the case here. The storytelling and narrative in this game is absolute dog shit. It, it is. I'm sorry to say that. It fucking hurts me to say that because of how much I loved the first Last of Us, but this is a very big decline. In a nutshell, the entire story is revenge is bad. And they just keep hammering that theme home for the entire 25 hours. Revenge is bad. Revenge fucking sucks. Revenge has all of these far-reaching consequences. Everyone's getting hurt around you because of revenge. Don't fight fire with fire. Revenge with revenge. It's terrible. You know, you better close your windows at night because you're letting the revenge in. Hey, honey, I'm making dinner. Do you want a nice plate of revenge? Oh, uh, shit, we're going to need two body bags here. It looks like these two people got revenge. It's just the same fucking thing beaten to death. Revenge is bad. 
It's a generic idea. It's a fucking story you've seen. Am I dumb for not thinking that? I didn't. Not called the Last of Us Two. If this was a standalone idea, I actually remember watching this. This I remember watching this now. The fact that it's following up something as unique and beautiful as Last of Us narrative with a generic revenge plot. It's laughable and lazy. It seems like a I don't feel like it was screaming revenge. Yeah, that was what it she was doing, they but came up with it last minute, not something they had planned from the start or even thought about deeply. I'm so not this game to the first one, which I don't typically like to do, but it's hard not like, to Like the main goal to was to get revenge, but I don't feel like I was being like reminded and screamed that at my face. I don't think I've said the word revenge the entire playthrough actually. Punches you right in your fucking nutsack. You have this man who just loses his daughter in a horrific... I never even said the word revenge and, and <laughs> playing the game. He's barely even a fucking human being anymore. He's not even whole. But then he's given this second chance with Ellie. And throughout this entire campaign, this long campaign, you see these characters growing with one another. They become so close, inseparable. She finally finds a, a daughter again. And he finds a reason to live. And then at the end of the game, you know, they travel across the entire country to try and save the world because she's so special, she's immune, they can make a cure out of her only to learn that it would kill her. So then he has this tragic decision to make. Does he lose the one thing that he cares about in the world, the, one, the thing he was just given a second chance with, or does he just take her and condemn the world to not having a cure? While the cure wasn't guaranteed, it's still an extremely tough decision to make that had crazy consequences as a result. There was so much emotion in that. And in this wet part of a game, there's nothing even close to that, because characters will die and you don't even remember their names. And I'm not talking about just, like, throwaway characters. I'm talking about some of the main characters. They'll just get killed in a pathetic way, and you don't even know who they were or, or what they did. And it's hard to ex talk about this without getting into spoilers, but almost every character death is immediately forgotten by the entire cast. And it's hard to talk about this without bringing up spoilers, so I'm just going to give you fair warning. I want a spoiler no review. Spoilers right okay, now, thank so you. I don't want to be spoiled. This yeah, do a spoiler it's review. It's important that I use this to, to talk about my point so people understand where I'm coming from. The characters in this game get introduced and forgotten. There's no... Ah, uh, okay, okay. J what, Jesse? I actually... Well, to be fair... When Jesse dies, what? When when Jesse dies, you fight Abby, or you're Abby and you're fighting Ellie, and then you do to the then you do the time jump, which I don't think they ever said. Oh, I didn't look at your no. The balance relationship building between Joel and Ellie in part one is probably the best thing, in either game. It feels so natural, like you don't grow to care about Dina or Lev like that. The scars are the worst written part of the game. I could see how people say that. Because the game is about Ellie and Joel and Abby. I want to be honest. Yeah, I don't think you were supposed to be super made to like Jesse, or you weren't supposed to be attached to Manny or something. Like, come on. Jesse dies, and you go to the time skip, which I don't remember exactly how long. Oh, the baby's born. It's been like nine months. It's been like seven to nine months already. They've done dealt with that. And they even named the baby after him. Yeah, the baby's literally named... Yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't be... Oh, yo, damn, remember Jesse? Like, <laughs> yo! And that's the only person who died on their side, right? Tommy didn't die, thank God. Thank God Tommy didn't die. He did not deserve to die after all that. Except his wife uh, divorced him. Um, and then on Abby's side... Oh, I didn't like, I didn't like, I'm not gonna, I didn't like the Owen and Mel stuff. I didn't like Owen. I totally forgot about that. Who, no, no way people are trying to compare Jesse and Joel, bro. Oh, Yara, Yara the goat. I can see people saying Yara, I liked Yara and Lev's thing. I liked it. I did like Abby. Like, the, the, trope, the tropes are there. It's super cliche. She hates this one group. She runs into a couple of the members that she just has to help, and she ends up going like, oh, maybe they're not that bad. Uh, maybe I do like, you know, not all scars are bad. And, like, that's that's a, that's outplayed. I saw that coming. We all, like, come on. But it wasn't done bad. I don't think it was done bad. Yeah, she took in the enemy. She's fighting a war against an enemy, and then she befriends the enemy of war. That's, like, it's not, it's not the, something we've never seen before. 
But I don't think it was, it wasn't even done bad, in my opinion. And I liked Yara. In that. Who else, was, who else died and wasn't brought up again? Why would, there was no point in bringing back up Yara. Owen and Mel. When Owen and Mel die, Abby literally, it's the most tight she gets in the entire story. And then they do the time skip. And they even go to Santa Barbara because that's what Owen was talking about. What are they, t what is Charlie talking about? development there's nothing they stay the same throughout the entire game and you barely see them by the way and i'm talking major characters not throwaways for example jesse jesse's a character you meet jesse is not a major Dina. character Dina. Dina is the main love interest of ellie Dina herself has no real character about her other than the fact she makes jokes sometimes but that's about it you don't really get to see too much of Dina and really care for okay Dina. so i already see charlie's thing look he, he's so in love with the first game he wanted that again He's so in love with one, the Joel and Ellie relationship, he wanted to see that again with these other characters. Since Joel is absent, he thought there was going to be a vacuum to fill in a Joel. That was not what Jesse was supposed to be. There is no way he's comparing Joel and Jesse right now. That is, That was not the point of his character. Charlie, are you brain dead? Grown man! She just doesn't have much of a role to play, and even less for Jesse. Jesse impregnates her. Jesse's even a hero at one point. And, but in total, Jesse has about six scenes in the entire game. And then Jesse gets killed. He gets shot by Abby as he comes out of a door and is never mentioned again. Not by Dina, not by anyone. He just gets shot and it's like he never existed. Because there was that nine months past. Him from the universe's memory. It's the same for every other major character. There's a character named Manny. Why does he call them major characters? Manny is not a major character, bro. He's in the game for a little bit. You know, he's there quite a bit. And, you know, and the only thing you know about Manny is he loves his dog, and he says pendejo a lot. And then Manny gets shot in the face right in front of Abby, and Abby just leaves, just jumps over some cover, and then leaves. She she never mentions Manny again. She doesn't even seem bothered by Manny. No, that's one that's one thing I did notice. When, when Manny died, she didn't even really seem like she had a reaction. But, I mean, that's not something... That, that literally would not change my score of the game at all. Like, that's really not that deep. And Manny is totally forgotten. All of these new characters they introduce have no fucking development at all, or personality, or anything about them. They are just bland, flat characters, except for two. There's only two characters in this entire game I felt were actually decently written characters. That Ellie brought it up a thousand I'm times. I'm talking Yara and Lev, two kids that come from a cult, and it has a lot of shit going on there, and they actually are interesting characters that play a pretty big role. And I think See, okay, so he understands Manny was not introduced to do anything. Jesse was not introduced to change. Manny and, and, bro, he understands, but it seems like he does it. He's purposely not trying to understand. If he's able to see how Yara and Lev were major characters who had a purpose, it's because they were made to have a purpose of changing Abby's perspective. That was why they were introduced. What? Well, Manny and Jesse were not there to challenge Abby and, and Ellie. Jesse's not challenging Ellie's life. That's not the point. Yara and Lev were specifically made to do that. He's able to understand that Yara and Lev were good characters. They were made to be liked and made to have characters. They drive the story. I don't understand. Definitely. That's like me saying, oh, oh. Zeke, I love Zeke in AOT. Zeke as a great character, he really he, he really did a lot of good stuff in the story. But but for some reason, for some reason, uh let's say uh Damn, I can't think of any AOT characters. Like uh you could say any like that guy in season three who died. I forgot his name, the guy who who, who was with Hitch who was hesitant in the charge. Like, oh, his impact, he, he didn't impact the story as much as Zeke. I don't understand. What? Like, that's not his, like, he was, his job wasn't to do that. He was just a scout. Highlights of the new cast, the only ones they seem that to That analogy was bad, with. but... Abby, I think, could have been a good villain and a good character if they had known how to build her. She stays this cartoonishly evil, mysterious. That's her thing. That's her guy's thing. They're calling Abby a villain. She's not a villain. I, I don't, I don't think I would call her a villain. She's, I don't think she's a villain. Villain. 
for like a- if anything, Abby and Ellie are in like the same spot. Nine hours of the game, and then they give you like twelve hours to spend with her, all through like flashbacks. You play flashback with flashbacks inside of a flashback. It really just feels like the whole game was out of order. They didn't have they had decent events, like they actually had well written events in their flashbacks. I think their flashbacks were actually the highlights of the game. The time you spend with Joel in the flashback, Abby's flashbacks, I actually think those were well written and enjoyable to experience. No, I would agree also. I, I did not like the part I did not like where they when they threw you in with Abby. I would have changed that. I'm I'm not sure where it's not my job. But I didn't like where they where they throw you into Abby's 12-hour session. I do agree with that. But I don't think it's enough to have this much hatred for the game at all. I, again, it's a criticism, but definitely something I would just say. It's definitely not something to stay away from the game for or something. But it's like they didn't know where to put them in the game. It's like the game was just so rushed that they just randomly edited these things in. If they had actually ordered these things in a cohesive manner where you start the game with Ellie and Joel, you know, spending time together and growing... And then you go in to Joel's tragic demise at the hands of a fucking golf club, which is a really pathetic death, by the way. But no way, no way. That's also why they they, they hate because he got he died by a, a golf club and not a a a gold a gold shoddy, a legendary scar. Joel needed to die. I think Last of Us Two. He needed to die. There needed to be consequences for what he did at the Firefly base. So I think that decision was right, but executed like absolute fucking diarrhea. Literal fucking fungal diarrhea. It was terribly executed, and it just felt so random because for the first two hours of the game, Joel's not even there. He's just in the background. The only time you even hear Joel talked about or seen is when Ellie's like, yeah, I fucking hate Joel. I'm tired of Joel. I hate him. And then Joel gets killed, and Ellie's like, well, now I want revenge. It's just, it just feels out of order. If they had taken those what? flashbacks with Ellie and Joel and put them leading up to his death, that would have had so much more of an emotional impact, it would have been significantly better. And then right after Joel's death, if you immediately went into Abby and her backstory, you would have humanized her and all the people... No, I think I think you would have humanized her with her too early. I think it would have been too early to do that. Like, I, I see why they put it in so late, but I feel like if you kill Joel and you immediately went into Abby's perspective, you're already going too quick into the game with the, oh, okay, I get it, perspective. And then, if they were to do that, the game would have to be significantly shorter. This game was, this game was like a lot of hours. I, don't, I can't place a number. Let's say that this game was like 20, 20 hours. If they were to put you in Abby's position right after killing Joel... Part of the fun of the mystery was figuring out who she was and whatnot. Of course, obviously, it would be easy to piece it together. Oh, it has to be related to the Firefly thing, but but I don't know. I have to go revenge to death, and you'd have real attachment to those characters in that setting. But instead, you have everything so fucking mishmashed all over the place, it'll have you brutally murder some random person, and then six hours later, it'll give you a flashback of who that person was and why you should feel guilty for what you did. But by that point, you've already fucking forgotten about that because that character had no weight at the time. It just it just feels so poorly put together. I, I have no other words for it. It just feels so goddamn lazy. It's like the homework was rushed, so they started placing paragraphs all over the place, and by the end, you have some nonsensical mishmash of fucking garbage. And I think it could have been great because, like I said, those flashbacks are the only parts in the game that are well done. And when you learn about how angels are too little to game. I think natural, having seen them on the porch was brilliant, it right? Just, it's just not good. The narrative, everything about the storytelling, I didn't like at all. I liked a lot. No, of yeah, that last cutscene was the best cutscene I've put. It really leaves you with like a, not a bad taste in your mouth, but like a, a like it's adding more weight onto like, bro, you just even listen to the, them singing together and them singing about dying and all that stuff, and then you see that they were having a rough spot, but he, she was like. I still want to have a relationship with you. And the last thing they say to each other is, oh, I'll see you later. Yep. Like, that really drove it in. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. It just didn't, it didn't do it well. This it sounds so, this sounds so miserable. Like, they said exactly what I was saying when I was playing as Abby. I was like, I bet you they're having the worst time of their lives trying to speed run this, this Abby gameplay. I bet you they're having the worst time of their life. And it must have made the game so miserable. 
You have to give him a chance. Must have been so miserable. That's ten times worse than 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 hating Askel at all story because it's it's not nearly as long. This is a long time. You gotta really hate Abby, and her gameplay really is over twelve hours long. And you and you didn't like her. They must have been so upset. No wonder they hate the game. Do it well with the way they had everything set up. It's just you know you, no one likes going through a ton of flashbacks all out of order, and especially when it's talking about things that happened nine hours before. You know, there's a fucking talk about a bar fight and a bar scene at the beginning of the game, and you don't get to see what that was actually about until 17 hours later. And by that point, you're like, who the fuck cares about those people at the fucking bar? We're way past that. It's just... What? Well, no, no, you're not past that. How? Because you didn't even know what happened. How could you be past something you didn't know what happened? And you can't be like, oh, it's about characters we didn't care about. Because it's, it's literally about Joel and Ellie. So how could you not care anymore about it? Weren't you in? Weren't you just talking about how in love you were with their relationship? That doesn't make sense. Very frustrating. Very fucking frustrating, and it's hard to believe that this is the story they wanted to tell after the first Last of Us. After that beautiful narrative, it's hard to believe this is what they came back with. But now that I've gotten all that out of the way, there are two areas I think Last of Us Two improves on over the first Last of Us. The first one's an obvious one, visually. I think visually this game is probably one of the best I've seen in a long time. It is absolutely gorgeous. The atmosphere is stunning. Absolutely beautiful, breathtaking. It has you going through some incredible environments, and I think it is just absolutely gorgeous, 100%. And I also think the soundtrack, the score to this game, wonderful as well. Really was vibing with the sound in this game. I think they absolutely crushed it there. As far as gameplay goes, it's the exact same gameplay from fucking seven years ago. It's the exact same gameplay from the first Last of Us. There's no tweaks, there's no improvements. It is exactly the goddamn same for the most part, with almost nothing new added to it. So, I mean, it's serviceable. There's nothing wrong with it. Over the course of the campaign, it gets extremely tedious, I'll say. But, again, the gameplay is fine. The gameplay is absolutely fine. I wish there was a little more innovation. I don't think it was necessary since, you know, it's not broke. Don't If it's not broke, don't fix it. But I would have liked to see them explore a couple more ideas here or maybe just anything new when it came to actual combat, and they didn't. So I was a little let down there, but it's not like a big deal that they kept the exact same formula when it came to combat. Oh, damn. Now everyone's saying it was pretty damn obvious that Bill was gay. Did you know Bill was gay? You learn what Ellie. Des you learn why Ellie, despite seeming so dumb with Joel, is so rebellious than they were really about to begin. You. Oh, I read that. I think people resume things and jump to conclusions too early. Like I had to trust in the writers. So when I started playing as Abby, I figured, okay, give it some time. I don't get why they're doing it. No, yeah, even I understood. I understood what was going on. And I didn't even care about Abby at first. Am I dumb for not knowing Bill was that he was gay? I mean, I. I'm trying to remember. That was I did play it like three weeks ago. For the bigot idiot gamers that thought Frank was just Bill's friend, despite the fact he had a Playgirl magazine in the backseat of his car. He's very clearly gay. What the hell? Wait, how? How did you know he was gay? I feel dumb. I'm as dense as a rocket, even I figured out he was gay. He calls him his partner, yet people want to deny it. It was anything more than friends. It was obvious you... Damn, I, I'm dumb. I really did not get it. understand and that's not really something I can hold against them. I also do really like a lot of the sections where you're running away in a panic away from either the infected or some evil people 
they'll have you run through these really chaotic environments with so much shit going on. And I always just love those scenes. I think Naughty Dog does a great job of these cinematic set pieces that have you doing some crazy shit. And I also do like a lot of the, the battles that they force upon you when it comes to like a scripted encounter with something. I think they do a good job of setting all that up. But there are two boss battles in this fight, and both boss battles have the exact same move set. I mean, two like actual boss battles where you know you actually have to fight and it's not just one shot and it's done. There's two boss battles where it's basically hand-to-hand -hand combat, and they have the exact same move set, which I found super lazy. Like you only have two boss battles, you couldn't at least mix it up. They have the same fucking weapon and use the same fucking moves. Like I would have liked to see at least some kind of difference in how you fight the bosses, but I mean it's not a huge deal. It's just something that kind of bugs me about it. But yeah, I would never consider this a bad game or like some terrible game. And if this wasn't The Last of Us 2, I think it would have been a fine game. I think it would have it would have been much better than it is. But I mean, this is The Last of Us 2. There's a certain expectation that you have to deliver on here. And I think it very much falls flat on that. And that expectation is telling a really powerful and unique thought-provoking story. This doesn't do that. And it doesn't even feel like it tries to. This is a generic revenge bad. Revenge super bad. And revenge yeah, well, Hugh Jackman Joel would be bad. And, which no I don't think that works. to make it anything more than that. And it doesn't even have the decency to surround itself with characters that they care about, the writers care about. Because these, these characters, like I said, have no character development. They have nothing about them. They, there's no info about these characters. And they're just killed off, thrown away, forgotten. They, you know, they don't even really seem to serve a purpose. They just seem to be here for the sake of cannon fodder. Like, it feels like they're only there to be like, hey, look, revenge made you kill this person. Do you remember this person you killed six hours ago? Well, this person actually was kind of a good person. And did you know they were pregnant? That's another thing. I want to bring that up. This fucking game pulls the they're pregnant card three separate times. Three separate times the she's pregnant or a surprise pregnancy reveals something. It's it doesn't, He did it three times. It feels like... Neil Druckmann here just totally forgot how to make a character emotional or have you care about a character. So he just went with the shock of, wow, you just killed a mother. You just killed a baby, too. Can you believe that? I bet you can see how bad revenge is now, huh? I bet you feel like shit now, huh? Because revenge is bad. Look what you just did. That was a pregnant lady. He does it three times. Three sets of... Wait, who was the third time? Wait, it's Dina... Dina, Mel, and... Who else is pregnant other than Dina and Mel? Who's the third pregnant woman? Am I dumb? Wait, uh, think, think. It can't be on... It can't be on Ellie's side. Abby's side? Who else was pregnant in Abby's story? What? Brandon. Who was the third pregnant person? No idea? Oh, okay. I don't know what it's Charlie's so talking about. Dumb. There's a character in the game who is pregnant, and then she decides she wants to go to the front lines. Like, they told her, hey, look, you should stay inside. She's fucking eight months pregnant. She's literally about to give birth. She's like, no, actually, I want to go to the front lines. So she goes to the front lines, gets in three car accidents, literally gets into a Molotov <laughs> exchange. Let's talk about Mel. A Molotov cocktail party, and then getting shot at, shooting at people. On diving, fucking dolphin diving, fucking belly first, all while pregnant. It's, it's, it's hard to care about characters where it seems like the writers don't even care about them, making stupid shit like that, decisions like that. And then, again, I can't fucking stop talking about how bad the story and writing is, fuck. They also make you, they also use the animal card a lot. Again, that's another thing I see from developers that don't know how to make anything emotional about a character, so then they put an animal in the situation to elicit that emotion because... It's, it's obviously a lot harder to do something bad to an animal, even in a video game. So to have that be an element shows like, wow, look how evil revenge is. You just killed an animal. Or look how good this person is because they just love an animal. You just played fetch with a dog that you killed. It's, it just feels so damn fucking stupid. 
No, I, I disagree with that, too. Yeah, you do see, like, oh, this is a dog you killed, and it is a dog you play catch with him, or all that stuff. Or, look, Manny likes watching anime. You, you kill him. I don't remember, like, how is that... Like, how is that a big deal? I don't get it. Oh, she refused to look at herself? I don't know. This is a like, terrible Charlie take. I swear, like, I'm about to go to the comments section. If the comments sections are beef riding, bro. Learning how to make something emotional and trying to figure it out. But they had already accomplished this in the first Last of Us. They had a ton of good shit going on in that game. You felt attached to the characters. In this game, you don't even remember their names. It just, uh, it's, I, I, can, I can go on and on. But bro, how many characters were in Last of Us 1? Other than Bill and the two black kids. That were relevant-ish. The black kids aren't even that relevant. They just made Ellie sad for a little bit. Again, this game was just extremely disappointing. Plugging The Last of Us 2 into the moist meter, I'm giving The Last of Us 2... A this is the one of the worst probably tapes I've ever seen in my life. Bad game. And really the main negative about this is its narrative. Its narrative is truly fucking terrible. And... Again, I got really bored with the gameplay. I'll, I'll admit it. I got so fucking bored with the gameplay. Every single encounter plays out the exact same. By the time you reach in-game, you're just playing it the exact same way you played in the first fucking stage of the first hour, you know? There's no development of the gameplay, and it just it got so boring for me to keep doing it. Is that not the first game? Is it not play the same as the first game? Exact same strategies, fighting the exact same way with only a couple of guns to choose from and only a couple of ways of approaching a fight or stealthing through it and grabbing. It just got tedious. It's not a bad game, which is why it's not below 50%. It's, a, it's an above average game. There is a lot of quality here when it comes to its visuals and a lot of its art direction. And obviously its acting is second to none. But it, it is so incredibly disappointing as a follow-up to the first Last of Us. It truly is. Manscaped talked about it but numerous times. What an L take. I like how Abby never even tells Ellie that she killed Joel because he killed her father. Because Ellie already knew. These comments are stupid. Ellie already knew that. I mean, Abby knew that Ellie knew. Ellie, Ellie told her. Ellie even told her. Right? Right, Rand? Ellie told her, I know I'm the one you want, I know what Joel did. Bro, she told him I know what Joel did. Why would Abby need to tell her? And even what, in the in the first scene, is that what they're asking? In the first scene, you wanted her to go, oh, by the way, I'm killing him because of uh, my father. But like, what? Yeah, she just, yeah, Ellie did tell her, so why would Abby need to? And even, and if, even if he's talking about the first scene where he kills, where she kills Joel... What is she supposed to do? She just wants to squat down. Oh, you knew this guy? Oh, uh, well, um, so here, here's what happened. So, a couple years ago, like, like, like come on. If the, this is the comment, this is his comment section, by the way, so you already know everyone's just going to be sucking him off. If the game wasn't so biased towards Abby, it would have made some of the other comments more palatable. You can't constantly beat Ellie over the head with the guilt stick, then go out of your way to enable and justify Abby's psychotic ass. Abby did not get to live a, a, a happily ever after. If anything, we don't even know if she meets up with those fireflies that she found. They make it sound like Abby was living a, a, a super happy, happy, happy boy boy life. I think this game was too ambitious. The separate negatives converging and the shifting of perspectives were both interesting ideas, but execution was lacking. I get we're supposed to see the gratification of revenge and then realize the cost was greater than the fulfillment. I never felt bad for killing Abby's friends because I didn't know them first. I also found it impossible to connect with Abby's friends during your section because I knew they were already dead. I don't think you were really supposed to be forced to connect with them.
they were trying to draw parallels between Joel and Ellie and Abby and Lev. I personally didn't see it that way. I did not see it that way. I saw it more as uh, Abby learning more about the, the other side and learning that she can befriend them. The You're My People. This franchise is a prime... Well, she can't have a soft spot for kids the same way Joel does. That was unbelievable and didn't work in my opinion. This franchise is a prime example of less is more. <laughs> they said none of the characters died to a zombie in this game. The end of the game is one of the most mixed things I've ever seen. Revenge is super bad and not worth it. Unless you are Abby. Regardless of everything else, she successfully revenged and got to live at least somewhat happily ever after with Lev. Meanwhile, Ellie is sad, alone, can't play guitar to remember Joel anymore, and didn't even get to successfully revenge. Both did equally bad things throughout the game, but... No. So look, they're just tight that Ellie didn't get the uh, uh, obvious dub. Yo? Yeah. Um... What was I gonna say? When do you go back to school? Uh, Sunday. Okay. Because I can't come tomorrow. Uh, okay. But I should be able to come sometime before Sunday. I'll let you know. Okay, if not, I can always just meet you somewhere. Okay. I'm gaming. I figured. Okay, be gone. Okay, bye. Uh, both did equally bad. Th uh, again, bad take. Bad take. There's a reason she didn't leave, she didn't even, I'm like, why didn't she at least take the guitar? She wanted to leave everything behind. I think she just wanted to leave all that behind her. That was, that was her happy ending. Just leaving everything, letting everything go. That was the point. That's why she kept having those flashbacks and everything. She had to let it go. And she did. She let everything go. Uh, and I'm sure she doesn't wake up and see him everywhere now. She just stopped, she just, she let it... She stopped thinking about it. You think Abby would have shown her a little mercy? Okay, let's have the video you... you were talking about. What's the video you were talking about? Oh, this one... Was this 20 something? Uh, Disgusting Last of Us. Brandon, you already spoiled that there's a new title screen. I, I, you said that. I could have found that out on my own when you spoiled it. Donkey. Damn, why was I all over this game? Why did I read the... See, even I was interested back then. And gamers are angry. One of their favorite franchises has swerved in a new artistic direction. Your opinion. I mapped it out of all. The reason he is suspiciously chilling outside of the stronghold, his name and what he's doing. Okay, so here's someone making an argument instead of whining like a little baby. I've well, he's reading YouTube comments. comments. YouTube comments are going to be cringe as hell. Goes somewhere new, he goes, man, this place smells like a goddamn Cheeto factory. And then he sees a dude limping along asking for help. He goes, that guy ain't even hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. Yeah, that ain't even the real time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that game is kind of funny. And then he sees a dude limping along asking for help. He goes, that guy ain't even hurt. <laughs> Joel fucking sees Tommy. He goes, yeah, that ain't even the real time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Joel from the beginning of the original game. When we first played as him, he was an empty husk of a person.
person that is just going through the motions. And over the duration of the first scene, we gradually see him transform back into an actual human being with a newfound sense of purpose. The Joel we see in Last of Us 2, no longer is it his gut reaction to run everybody over in a truck because he trained his truck for a horse. And in the end, it's some dumb, incidental slip-up that gets him killed. Christopher says, this story was terrible. Now, Christopher makes an excellent point here. <laughs> Monster Hunter World, Doom Eternal, Star Wars Jedi Fallen, Devil May Cry 5, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Gears of War 5, Pokemon Sword, Far Cry 5, Wolfenstein 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man, Horizon Zero Dawn. I've played all of these games, and some of them are actually good games. But now I am going to recount everything I remember about the story to these games. In Doom, you go to hell. I can tell you characters from these games, like the funny Yoda and the talking chicken, but I can't actually recall specific story beats. You know, these stories, they left such little impact on me. Monster Hunter World was not a story game. That game was... Some crazy I just came for monsters. Let's just start here. Last of Us 2 is a good story because it's memorable and dramatic. It's not an untouchable masterpiece. It's not perfect. It's just a good, entertaining story. I went into this game already knowing that Joel would die. Is this his normal voice? I was still absolutely floored. This is such a brutal, horrific scene. And really, it's Ashley Johnson's performance as Ellie that sells it. They are killing off our favorite guy from Last of Us. This is the appropriate reaction. Compare this to Final Fantasy VII Remake, where Jesse dies. Now, I don't give a shit about Jesse. No! I didn't know she died! No, he even had it in the description. I forgot. He goes, you owe me a pizza. When Jesse dies, I go, okay, whatever. When Joel gets killed off, I am sitting here like, holy shit. I am emotionally affected. One, that's not fair. That's not fair to... Uh, that's not fair. Joel, you spend the whole game playing as Jesse's just some random girl that teaches you what... Like, just... She doesn't really do anything, to be honest. Now the rules are off the table. But I get what this is from here on out. I love No, I didn't know she died. Surprise me and veer into unknown territory. I'm so I was literally gonna re download that game after I beat this game because I I, I couldn't play it until I had plus back. Now Ellie has to go to outer space to find no big deal. It's just Jesse. This is the first time I've disagreed with Ghost. Wow, this game sucks. But also I've never played this game before. <laughs> <laughs> What is that comment? He said, wow, this game sucks, uh, even though I never played the first one. He said, don't listen to him, y'all. He didn't like, get Kojima, get out of here. You don't make this game. Don't do this. Too popular and has lost any sort of credibility when it comes to reviews. People don't know why they hate it, except countless four-hour reviews breaking down everything that makes the game bad with far better reasoning than anything in this video. Now, this comment is actually a masterpiece. He's mad that I said people don't know why they're mad. But at the same time, <laughs> he still doesn't understand why he's mad. He references some mystery fans to a video. He doesn't know what the video is called. I've never watched a donkey video before. From the video... <laughs> there are smart, level-headed people with functioning brains who don't like The Last of Us 2 for valid reasons, and this is not one of them. I'll tell you why we're mad, Dunky. Thank you, big boss. Here we go. The world of Last of Us is not advanced in the slightest. Nothing happens. It's nothing more than a revenge narrative, and it feels lazy like it could happen to anyone in Last of Us Part 2. But Last of Us Part 1, that story was Ellie and Joel to experience, and given all of this... And Cuckman's reputation for being a male feminist, the fact that... Andrew Wait, do they call him Cuckman? <laughs> Actually funny. To a it's it feels like Cuckman was pushing an agenda. Big Boss, I just want to thank you for finally making me understand why people hate this game so much. <laughs> Tiger Sushi asks, what was more creative about <laughs> this game than part one? I had the opposite feeling, that it was very one note compared to the original. Well, Tiger Sushi, to me, the original game is zombie up. Am I wrong? Dude loses his loved one, then he gets old and grumpy. <laughs> oh, it's torpedo kid. No way it's zombie up. This kid is annoying. Well, oh, this kid is annoying. Eventually, the old guy goes, hey, this kid ain't so bad after all. 
Ain't no way! He actually just set it zombie up. Yo, it actually is zombie up, bro. Oh my god, that he actually literally described it. That's actually the entire thing. Yo, what the? When did let us come out? When did up come out? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's literally up. 2009. I'm about to get on you right now. I think Last of Us came out 2013. No way, no way, no way, no way. No, not the game, not the show. Oh my god. 2013. My boys, my boys, we got them. We got them. It actually is zombie up. Yo, who likes part one Last of Us, bro? I'm out to flame you. <laughs> the story's still good, but I cannot believe. I cannot believe he literally just converted to up. I totally did not think of that. Any Pixar movies. I can't name a single video game where you stop halfway and play as the villain for the rest of the game. To me, that was a really creative move. The first game is more predictable, but has more consistent characters. Second game is like a roller coaster thrill ride with characters that are borderline schizophrenic. Now here's a genius guy. Zero mention of all the SJW trash pushed on us. People love the first game because it's not political in any way at all. <clears throat> now stay with me. Yeah, bro, IGN, 10 out of 10, not political in any way. GameSpot, 5 out of 5, no homo. <laughs> Thank you, Naughty Dog, for not including. <laughs> Did the first game mention anyone's sexual orientation at all, apart from the trash DLC? The answer is no. How you guys don't see that is beyond me. What's great about these comments is that this is a man who is so convinced that he is correct, but turns out is 100% factually incorrect. Bill, from the original game, was gay. The game points out several times that Bill is gay. Doc Holliday, you are a bonobo ape. As Dom says, I did not know Bill was gay. That's that's really surprising me. Part two, Last of Us haters, this guy is on your side. So if you want to come over to my side now, no one will judge you. People can have. Fallout <laughs> <laughs> seventy six. Wait, what the fuck is this still YouTube comment? But killing off the best character in the game and then making you play as the scumbag who killed him for 20 hours is terrible game design. This is a this is a loaded comment. The relationship between Joel and Ellie defined the original game, just as its absence defines the scene. You do still have some parts with Joel, like the museum sequence, which is one of my favorite parts of the whole game. But yeah, this is a sad game, and you really do come to miss that character dynamic. Then there's Ab. The biggest trick of this game was to make Abby work as a character. How do you humanize her without hamming it up and turning her into a hero? Oh look, it's Abby's dad. What a great guy. He saved zebras. Also, he's gonna cut a little kid's brain out. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna cut a little kid's brain out. I won't ever see that. Never mind, Joel shot her dad, and that's why she's evil now. But she's not evil because she loves Owen, but she doesn't give a fuck about Owen. She just wants to kill Joel. But <laughs> she pets a doggy until she throws his ball over the fence. There are sympathetic things about her and horrible, repugnant things about her, and you just kind of sit on this moral teeter tot. You fight this fucker zombie monster in the basement. You walk on a balancing beam between skyscrapers. You battle through this nightmare inferno. You end up going through so much stuff as Abby just to save these kids that eventually I went, damn. After all we've been through, everything that I've done, Damn, I forgot Ellie was young. I get shot in the temple by a magic bullet that performs surgery on me all screen. Does he barely get shot in the head? Okay, I can explain this. Tom, does he barely? No, I get shot in the temple by a magic bullet that performs surgery on me off screen. Okay, I can explain this. Tommy is actually a character from Call of Duty Black Ops 4, where it takes four headshots to kill someone. Yo! Where it takes four headshots to kill someone. Last of Us 2 is a game that takes itself super seriously, so 
but when it makes goofy mistakes, they stick out like a sore thumb. The main thing that bothers me is how characters can now teleport. In the original game, it is a major pain in the ass to get anywhere. I mean, that was the whole plot of the game. And this one, right off the bat, Abby and her friends travel 900 Thank you. That is my biggest thing, bro. They go mad far. That might be somewhere. Then Ellie yeah, they traveled 80 miles to find a guy that might be somewhere. That is insane. That is my biggest problem with the with the second game. That's literally it. They traveled 80 miles to find a guy that might be somewhere. That is insane. Teleports to Seattle, then she teleports to Wyoming, then she teleports to California. The story is designed to be this horrific train wreck, but it does lean on contrivance a little too hard. This makes me wonder if you played the first game, whether or not you did, you still seem restarted. You, you misspelled retarded. A classic move. This game is just revenge bad, hammered over and over again. I really don't think this game or the original are about trying to hammer home some profound message. The fun of these games to me is trying to unravel and figure out these characters. And I feel like a lot of the best characterization... Thank you, that's the best way I would put it. That's the best way I would put it. I don't think it's trying to force a message on you. I don't even... I would disagree that it's trying to force revenge is bad on you. I wouldn't even try... I wouldn't even say that's a major point. That's not it at all. You're kind of... You're really just watching the characters grow and their mindsets change. I do not think it's even saying revenge is bad. ...to Joel, where we find out the Firefly incident is driving a wedge between them. Ellie starts drifting away from Joel more and more until she finds out what really happened and cuts ties with him entirely. So when Joel gets killed, it dawns on Ellie that she wasted those few remaining years she had left with Joel, ignoring and resenting him. Guilt. This is what drives Ellie's revenge story. Later at the farm, Tommy comes to visit Ellie. He is just this broken man, physically and mentally, with his brother's death weighing so heavily. I like that scene. He knows Ellie still wants revenge, and he desperately tries to guilt her into pursuing Abby again because he can't. This is such a <laughs> sickening disturbing and powerful scene acted and written to perfection i do think less of yeah i really like that tommy cut scene but not in a cheesy one-dimensional way the game wants you to feel bad for what you've done but it also wants to piss you off it wants to fill you with hate it says here you go dude shoot these dickheads that killed joe with a dynamite air the last of us two is support the homosexual that's why i'm not playing so if anyone wants to jump over to my side, you cannot make the player feel guilt for their actions if they didn't have the ability to choose something other than violence. This is true. It's against the gamer rules. To <laughs> just like how you can't be sad when Arthur Morgan dies because he didn't choose things. No. Don't like bring up Arthur. Sense of guilt when it was a decision that they made. Yoga Jake talks about this a lot in his recent video. But I also think this dichotomy between the player and the character is one of the most interesting parts of this game. There are tons of games where the main character is just a vessel for the player, but here they have their own volition. When we started to Ellie, I am right there with her. Oh, hell yeah, they killed Joe. Let's get to tons of bitches, and I shoot tons of people, and it's fun, because shooting video games are fun. And as it goes, her mission gets more and more depraved until she becomes the villain of the story. It's a game where the more you win, the worse things get. And I can understand why that would cause a disconnect, but I thought it was brilliant. I did feel bad for some of the things I did in this game, even if I was just following orders. This is what I love about them. Even though the game does not have Donkey Kong, he still gave it a 4 out of 5. Truly an unbiased game critic. Thank you, Sig. I do try to be as fair as I can, even to these smaller budget games where they can't afford to bring in Donkey Kong. My whole issue is the ending, which just throws away the point of the whole game. Literally tracked Abby through states with revenge as an intent, but just because she got a little kid, she gets to live to play golf another day? Alright, you better, you wanna go then? You wanna go then? <laughs> the ending to this game is probably the most controversial part of it, which is saying a lot. Ellie sacrifices so much to get to this moment and kill so many people, only to change her mind at the last second. Kind of like that one dude did in that PS3 game. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he got him. He got them. Nah, that's grimy. That's grimy. That's grimy. Bro said, kind of like that one guy did. Last second. Kind of like that one dude did in that PS3 game. I think it was called uh, The Last Donut. Now, when this happened, I went, what the fuck? 
I felt robbed. Even though I no longer wanted to kill Abby, it seemed like that was the inevitable conclusion to the story. If Naughty Dog really wanted to nail home this message of hate spawning hate, Ellie would kill Abby. Thematically, that is the more appropriate ending. However, I like the real ending more. This is a depressing game, at least in a miserable year. Can we not just have one optimistic little blip? Lex saves Abby, who spares Ellie, who ultimately saves both of their lives. Ellie remembers her final conversation with Joel was a good one and says, fuck it. Why she spares Abby is left so extremely ambiguous it could be interpreted forever. But I think these guys hit the nail on the head. Pearl Jam is the key to all of this. At the start of the game, me and Ellie were synced up. We wanted the same color forever. But I think these guys hit the nail on the head. Pearl Jam is the key to all of this. At the start of the game, me and Ellie were synced up. We wanted the same thing. Then she starts drifting away from Joel, from Dina, and the player. She becomes this unrecognizable monster who's lost so much of her own identity that killing Abby no longer means anything. I like what this guy says too when Ellie goes, No! <laughs> She's not talking about that. When she returns home, Ellie can no longer play. This guy says too. When Ellie goes, No! <laughs> She's not talking about that. When she returns home, Ellie can no longer play Joel's guitar, which helped her keep his memory alive. You could see this as a cruel twist of fate, but now that those memories can fade away, Ellie can move on, hopefully live the life Joel would have wanted for her. Ladies and gentlemen, Obi Kenobi from Star Trek. He says, I love how Duncan showed us the metric score to attempt to prove a point. Show us the user scores, too. So, Obi-Wan's getting a little bit senile in his old age, but just for you, Obi-Wan, I am now going to read some Metacritic user reviews. Here we go. Just no, not worth playing, not fun, not groundbreaking, not interesting or exciting. Naughty Dog's Downfall. One of the most bad games I ever played, written by a soy boy that ruined Naughty Dog as a company. No more likable characters because of reasons you can view in other comments. This is an incredible masterpiece, a must to play. The baddest game in history. This is an incredible map game that can enter the list of games I don't like. Trash Agenda, this could be a great game, but Anita had to add Coleco Gina Agenda. <laughs> you can play a story-based game with a shit story that it's my fault because I'm a homophobe? Seriously, days gone their way, but job. this is shit. I guess Obi-Wan was right. But now, just to be safe, let's look at the reviews for a good game like Days Gone. The story is very emotional and smart, deep story with awesome graphics. This game, it's a masterpiece storytelling. The story and characters are top notch, and at times I even felt the emotion. Storytelling is so good that I thought I was dreaming. Good storyline, not like shitty The Last of Us 2. Deep storyline with white, straight potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, that was the comment. Straight potatoes. No. Oh my god, great open world game with deep storyline with straight white protagonists without modern SJW crap. Damn. Well, it looks like the people have spoken. Last of Us 2 is a terrible 3 out of 10 story. Meanwhile, Days Gone is an 8 out of 10 masterpiece of storytelling. Now, play the clip of Days Gone. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back. But only if you promise. To ride me as much as you ride your bike. What? The story is the best ever. Okay. Well, that was a good video. What is is Donkey Black? That was funny. Oh, welcome back, Blake. I beat the game. Oh, that's what she made up.
Instagram. <clears throat> okay, you guys, there's no way to do this without spoilers. We ask that you be patient, listen carefully, and most of all, be kind to one another in the comment section. Thank you. Matt and I finished The Last of Us Part 2 over a week ago, and like many of you, have been trying to get Ja Rule on the phone to make sense of all this. Where is Ja? But he's not available for comment, so we're going to do it ourselves. First, we need to address the big dead elephant in the room, Joel. In 2013, Joel Miller became a top 10 video game character and PlayStation mascot practically overnight. Not because he was a fat plumber that jumps real good, or a blue hedgehog that's gotta go fast, or a walrus talking about bug snacks, but because he was a father in anguish over the loss of his daughter. And while mature themes had been explored, camera and say, This is a historic moment in video games. It's the moment when a developer presented their audience with a challenge that could not be overcome with a controller. Naughty Dog wants you to walk a mile in the shoes of a person who you hate. And even though we've been shown irrefutable proof that Abby is the protagonist of her own story, all we can say as grief-stricken gamers is still... <coughs> Bitch, I never forget this. Herein lies a controversial yet innovative experiment to expose how the identity of the self relates to the identity of the other. And the results have varied from person to person because there is no difficulty setting in the game or in life to make forgiving someone easy. It is a wildly provocative, tumultuously entertaining request that we try to accept that when Abby killed Joel, she was in the exact same pain that we are in now. That's why you relive Seattle days one through three from the perspective of a character whose story is about accepting the identity as Abby learns to empathize with members of an enemy faction known as Scars, the player learns to empathize with an enemy known as Abby. And when the sun sets on the final day for a second time, you discover the atrocities that you committed on yourself. Naughty Dog's intention for making you play as two separate characters in two separate stories was to cause a complete loss of subjective self-identity when their timelines were... Questioning who you are and what you believe has been a central theme the whole game. Almost every major character you've met has been trying to figure it out for themselves, and now you know how it feels. Only interactive media can even attempt to create an ego death fight like this. Bravo. Oh my god. Reason, please. Yes. And finally, we've reached the fourth element. No, Dina got. <laughs> no, Dina got bodied. Wait, girlfriend reviews got docs. I've never heard of her till now, but. Oh my God, that frame of her, of Joel looking up when he was playing the guitar. Oh my God. That makes me sad. Each character's story concludes in defiance of the plot. It is reductionist to say that the lesson here is simply revenge is bad. The two of us who made this video. Reductionist to say that the lesson here is simply revenge is bad. The two of us who made this video are still grasping at the meaning of it all while trying to recover from this emotionally challenging scene. However, it is our belief that Naughty Dog gave us everything we needed to confidently decide that we wanted both of these women suffering. You reach the credits and wish you could have killed Abby, even after walking a mile in her shoes, then you may have beat the game you were playing with your controller, but you may have lost the game that Naughty Dog was playing with your soul. And isn't it fascinating that a cautionary tale about the damage grief can cause to ourselves and to others has resulted in months of confusion, anger, vitriol, bigotry. Is Abby transgender? I remember I remember hearing stuff about that. Like, damn of violence ever since the world's death was leaked online. The climate surrounding this release is a remarkably notable example of life imitating art. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking as a girl who shockingly lost her own home, I cast no judgment if you were unable to... <sighs> okay, 
Oops, guys. wrong button. Even after walking a mile in her shoes, then you may have beat the game you were playing with your controller bit. A threat is a remarkable feat. And speaking as a girl who shockingly lost her own phone, I cast no judgment if you were unable to enjoy this harrowing experience. I know how it feels to be lost, alone, and unable to see through the fog. And I think the ultimate lesson The Last of Us Part Two teaches the player is how well they cope with pain. I hope that Joel's death was not in vain. So when we look back at how it consumed Ellie and the gaming community with disastrous hatred, we can say to ourselves, This was a very definitive moment where every thinking and feeling person was like, Ugh, we gotta do better than this. <laughs> I'd say this is definitely one of the best stories. <clears throat> I'm glad Abby was able to find the fireflies. I'm glad they made it out. This was a, that was a fun ride. That was a fun ride. I really like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad and happy. Yeah, you got that post-media depression, man. Let me finish something. the picture Who the hell is this? <clears throat> uh what kind of gaming? Keep these in the book. Oh, is that the boar she chased into the gas station? Damn, what the hell? This almost looks like a photo. The light on the hair really sold that. This is some insane artwork.
Yeah, this is good art. Sounds like a whole bunch of different styles and stuff. Damn, I'm gonna miss Joel and Ellie. <clears throat> oh, I like this one. I'm gonna miss Abby too. Look, at least they, she had to have her end. Hopefully that place stays up as long as possible. And a sword. Oh. See now I'm so <clears throat> I'm telling like people from 2015, but I don't want them to make a I don't want them to make another one. And I know that people I know that people who like last the part the first game more probably said the same thing, but I I don't want. I don't want a third game. Why well, did Abby was Abby not supposed to have her hair cut, I guess initially maybe? No, I feel like leaving Joel in the past, well, does that mean having to abandon everyone in Jackson? I don't think so. I think she went back to Jackson. I think she went back to Jackson. I mean, I would hope so. Like, do you have to not be able to look at Tommy in the face ever? No, and then I don't want her lying to Tommy. I, I said she can just lie to Tommy and say that she she killed him. She killed her. But I'd be lying, and that's the same thing Joel did. I don't know. I would, I would say... I would say, what would I tell Tommy? I would just tell her she got away. And if you don't... If you don't... If you're bothered by that, then I guess leave. So be it then. <clears throat> yeah, this part was crazy. I love Tommy, but you know, I didn't do it. The hell is this supposed to be? I forgot about this pre roam part, they never did it again. Lev's mom? Oh, wow. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, I thought that was going to happen, like, multiple times. I guess they dropped it. Oh, this part was cool, too. Man, and then, it gets so different from back then when you're here with Dina, and you feel like the story changed. Like, that's all good. Like I like well going back and looking at all these parts, you all felt you all, you felt you can I I remember how I was feeling back when we were downtown. 
or when we came to Seattle and all that. I feel like that's good storytelling. Bro, they probably have to make 80 different outfits for these characters, give them 50 billion different haircuts, and before they pick one. That's a long PlayStation 5 loading screen. Oh, well, anyway, we got everybody. So, can I get the zombies? Oh, wrong one. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Uh, oh. Where's the stalker on it? I felt like this was mega random. I was convinced that I have to turn down the difficulty. Oh. That was the first infected. Armored clicker. Dang, they have specific models for stalkers that are infected. Gustavo! Ain't no way they put Seth's character model. Oh, so this is everybody in the game. What do you mean, where's Mel? I don't care about Mel. I'm just buying the goats. Love you, no goat. Yo, she just like Erwin. She just like Erwin. <clears throat> Tommy, you are goat status. Oh, damn, depressed Tommy be like, damn, depressed Tommy be like, I don't have a wife, or an eye, or a brother. Joel will be like, I am dead. I am dead. It'll best Joel. No, lame. Birthday drill. Oh, we got a dual one? Oh, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a dual one? Oh, most controversial scene in game. My bad. I mean, this thing's too long. That would be like. That would be like, I lift. I lift. No, Ellie grew up. Change the appearance of the game? This applies for the whole game? the game will look like this that's kind of cool yeah this does look like it give you a headache damn why he look mad depressed he looks bit
Yo, playing the whole game black and white kind of would go hard. Yo, it kind of go hard like that. Horizontally flip the world. Horizontally flip the world every time you die. <laughs> what kind of settings are this? Reduces game speed to fifty percent. Reduces game speed to twenty-five percent while aiming. Infinite ammo. Infinite crafting. Infinite melee durability. Infinite listening mode range. One shot. Touch of death. That's funny. That's funny. Ooh, new game plus. I started on the 10th. It took me 13 days. It took me two weeks. What a good game. Oh, they put it very late. <laughs> I was sick and tired. I was missing two cards, a safe. Oh, don't tell me about the safe, bro. Don't tell me about the safes I missed. <laughs> what could play a specific moment? Interesting. I guess um, I'm going to be still reading a bunch about this game. Um, I'd give I'd give this game a, I want to say it. I'm not giving it a 10. I I would give it a 9. I'd give it a 9. My only big problem is just them traveling across the world. Sporadically, in a zombie apocalypse. That's it. I like it. Nine, nine minimum. I'm. I feel. I feel good about that. I don't want to say it was perfect, but I'd give it a nine. I, I loved it. Definitely one of the best stories I've I've played. I'd probably put in one of my favorite games. I really had fun playing. I was always. Um, hype to get back on. And I did like it more than the first game. So, yeah, that's nice. I'm probably gonna <clears throat> play a mix of Last of Us and, I mean, a mix of Gale. Uh, a mix of God. I gotta be God of War before school starts because I'm gonna lose my online. I have it for free. I have to beat the game first. Um, which I'm, by the way, I'm not really hooked on either, which is kind of weird, because Ragnarok, I still have to play Ragnarok, and if Ragnarok kind of plays the same, there's no way Elden Ring would not have won Game of the Year. But, um, I'm still super early in God of War, so we'll see, maybe my mind will change. Um, I don't play God of War, and I'm going to play Final Fantasy, I don't know if I'm going to stream it, I don't really like care to like look back on Final Fantasy I don't like her. But this game was cool. I'm definitely gonna think about this game for a long time. Yeah I forgot how to end forgot how to end the screen.